Hello Internet, I'm Elijah and in this episode we are going to review very affordable double rear camera smartphone Doogie Shoot 1. Device running on quad core processor MTK6737 has 2GB of random access memory, 16GB of internal memory storage and support SD card up to 256GB. However, in this case you will need to choose between two SIM cards or one SIM card and one memory card due to the particular properties of the SIM tray. Phone's design looks like a cross between Xiaomi 5 and OnePlus 3. Thanks to full unibody metal jacket with subtle curves and clean lines it looks and feels very premium. It's not as thin as most of the modern phones with this battery and even with that thickness both cameras are still sticking out. Physical buttons on the sides are easily recognizable and very easy to press. General developers choose for Doogie Shoot one very simplistic design where there is nothing superfluous but also nothing special. Doogie Shoot 1 main feature is 13 plus 8 megapixel double rear camera with dual flash and it seems that it's becoming some kind of trend among Chinese manufacturers even among those who are not really widely known so as I said in the review of Dubu Dual, another smartphone with a similar feature uh, purpose of double camera is to define the distance between the primary object and the background and by that give the picture additional depth does Doogie Shoot 1 have this function? Well, yes it has. Does it make your picture better? Well, with the default settings, photos and even videos suffering from overexposure. Maybe even a little bit more than other phone's cameras. Also phone obviously lacking good color rendering. And I'm not even talking about all these noises on the pictures made in low light conditions. Luckily all of those problems can be solved either by changing default settings or by some third party apps. Moreover this camera is much better than most of the other cameras that phones for $99 offering. Situation with 8 megapixel front camera is much better since it doesn't have exposure problems, have very decent color rendering and has much lower noise level. I really love Doogie's Full HD 5.5 inch sharp display. It's very bright, very colorful, work greatly and stay nice and sharp under any light and angle. There are absolutely no inversions or darkening even if you are looking on the angle close to 108 degrees. It's not AMOLED that for sure, however image quality is quite close to it. Doogie Shoot 1 running Android 6.0 as an operating system with slightly changed user interface. Among the alteration that worth mentioning, there is a camera app that allows to fully use double camera capabilities and adding some other tweaks. Another change is Doogie Security, which adding additional security and allowing you to set password on every single app on your device. And of course some minor alteration that you probably will never use such as one-handed mode, emergency rescue, power saver, QR code scanner and gesture settings. Fingerprint scanner is doing surprisingly well and moreover it can even compete with Xiaomi 5 scanner in its responsiveness and speed. Inside the device has 3300 mAh battery which can hold around 3.5 hours of playing Epic Citadel with full brightness and Wi-Fi module turned on. With a normal use phone can work up to 18-20 hours which is more than enough. Game performance does not suck on this device. I mean, you will still notice some FPS drops while playing Modern Combat 5, but it's still not going out of gaming comfort zone. Benchmarks such as N22 giving to the device score around 40,000, while Epic Citadel on the ultra high setups and full HD resolution showing 24 FPS. And at the end of this episode, it's time to face the ugly truth. If you're expecting something supernatural in terms of camera from Doogie Shoot 1, smartphone that cost around $100 you most likely will be disappointed, even knowing it's probably the best camera for this price. However, if you are considering this device apart from its main feature, you will understand that it is a very decent smartphone and deserves your attention. It has good gaming capabilities, amazing display, very responsive fingerprint scanner and surprisingly long battery life. And that is all for today, I'm Elijah, if you like the device and want to buy it, click the button here. If you enjoyed the review, press this subscription button here. And if you want to see more of my reviews, just click at that window. Like our videos, leave your comments. Thank you for watching and farewell.